When I started the Southern Ocean Persistent Organic Pollutant Program, the logical thing is to look at marine mammals. They sit high up in the food web and they are the organisms that are accumulating the highest levels of these chemicals. Persistent organic pollutants are man-made chemicals that uh, we've produced over the uh, past century and they bioaccumulate which means they build up in our bodies and the, the bodies of organisms. Um, and of course this can be a, a problem if we're not ridding ourselves of, of the toxic burden. Pollution is causing a problem. Um, runoff from the streams, bringing heavy metals and other things into the, the ocean environment, and then whales ingest that through their food supply. They move great distances away from the source, so we might release them in temperate regions, but they have the ability to migrate towards colder and colder regions um, of the earth, ending up at the poles of the earth. They feed pretty much exclusively on uh, Antarctic krill, which are about kind of this big. Their, their food supply is, is under threat. Um, people are scooping up krill and, and plankton to make into dog food and other things. It's better to have the humpbacks eat that and then have it feed the rest of the food chain after that. So there are many unknowns. But certainly, from our knowledge of the behaviour of chemicals um, and the physiology of other mammals, we know that this period is likely to be the period uh, where we will see toxic effects, if there are any. <laughs>